Yo, it's Samuel here, and today we're just going to quickly read Psalm 3 and 4. Without further ado, let's begin. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God, Shela. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cry unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Shela. I laid me down and slept. I awake for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid for ten thousand of people that have set themselves against me round. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For thou hast smited all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. The salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people, Shelah. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast allowed me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after reason, Shelah? Mm-hmm. But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call up unto him. Stand in awe and sin not, and sin not. Come in with your own heart upon your bed and be still, Shelah. Offer the sacrifices of unrighteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show, show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that they are corn and their wine increase. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Hallelujah. So this is just a psalm from David. The Psalm 3 was talking about a psalm from David when he fell from Absalom, his son, and to the chief musician of Negon, Negnot, a psalm of David. This basically talks about how, even when we are in our troubled times, even when we are in our feelings, we, even when we are in our feelings truly, and even when we are down, you need to remember that Jesus still loves us. God still cares for us, and God will still guide us. Even for those who sin, it's a, also a warning for us to repent and turn to Christ Jesus, to remember that He is the one who, who we need. He does not need us. We are the ones who need this, and we need to turn to them. We also, I also found a revelation, and it talks about more about other religions, and I wanted to let you know that God is the one true God. There is no other one apart from Him. Time and time again, He is the one who keeps us and keeps us in perfect peace. I wanted to let you guys know that He is truly there. He answers our prayers. He loves you and He loves each and every single one of us. He wishes for no one to perish, but for everyone to gain eternal life. I pray that wherever you guys are, whatever you guys are doing, that you guys, you, he will lead you in perfect peace. All those who stay, who are steadfast in him. Have a beautiful day, and remember that God loves you.